Hello, how are you, Cesar? Hello, nice to see you. Um, Cesar from Porsche Latin America, and uh, we're like in Latin, Latin American capital, right? In yes, Miami. Miami. <laughs> <laughs> the capital of Latin America. Exactly, and we're driving a very special car. Yeah, the Panamera SE Hybrid. Oh, obviously, it's a Porsche first, right? Always a Porsche. Always a Porsche, yes. Absolutely. But uh, pretty fantastic technology in terms of uh, fuel economy and like driving performance. Uh, yes. So can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, first, I guess, with the electric part of it? Yeah, well, the car combines the best of both worlds. It has uh, the efficient technology of the plug-in hybrid. And it also, of course, being a Porsche, always a Porsche, has the performance and the output of a Porsche everything that you'd come to expect from a Porsche. On the electric side, uh, we have uh, basically four driving modes, okay? On the electric side? Uh, well, in... Or on both? On both, on okay. both. From the electric side, we have a combination, we have one pure electric mode, which is the e-power okay. mode. That's the default mode. As long as the battery is fully charged, when you start the car, the car will start in e-power mode. That means the car is running 100% electric, you have a driving range of about 20 to 22 miles in pure electric mode. That's which pretty amazing. That is amazing. If you live maybe 10 miles from your office, you can get to and from work in pure electric mode with zero fuel consumption and zero emissions. And that's very different from other hybrids, right? Because in yes. other hybrids, the, the e-power only kicks in for a very low speed. Yeah, normal hybrids. It kicks off, I mean, at very yeah. low speed, and then like uh, you are on gas again. So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now. As long as you have the full charge, you have or, or charge on the battery, you are in e-power mode. Okay. If um, if the car were to run out of battery, which is a concern of some customers, they say, well, what happens if I don't have a place to charge the car and yeah. I run out of charge? Well, the car will default down to normal hybrid mode, which is basically like you mentioned, the, combining the two engines. Combining the two engines, uh, you don't have obviously the range uh, of e-power because you don't have the full charge of the battery, but there's still some uh, charge uh, generated through brake regeneration and certain technologies that still um, allow you to take advantage of the hybrid technology, although you're not maximizing the full e-hybrid technology of Porsche yeah. at that point, but at least it gets you from point A to point B until you can fully charge the car again. Another interesting advantage of the car is the e-charge mode, which is another driving mode that the vehicle has. The e-charge mode will engage the combustion engine, so you're driving 100% with the combustion engine, Yeah. and at the same time the combustion engine will charge the battery. So for example, if you are on the expressway driving 45 minutes at a constant rate of speed, you're in e-charge mode, you're using the combustion engine 100%, but you're charging the battery. So when you get off the expressway and you're back into the city driving, you can switch back to e-power, Okay, so it internally charges the battery. You don't necessarily need to plug it into a wall. And I guess those two, two systems combined uh, add up for like a great mileage, right? And Absolutely. Great MPG. Yeah, the car, uh, in terms of miles per gallon, um, it's actually very, very high. We're rating it at about 76 miles per gallon. Of course, that all depends on your driving yeah, characteristics. It's a, and, and it's the equivalent, right? Exactly. Because you are combining two engines, two, two right. powertrains. Right. So if you if you if you take the average of your full e driving or e power driving full electric mode, um, com, you know combined with your hybrid driving and combustion engine driving, all of that, um, the tests that they've done at the factory have rated it at about 76 miles per gallon. So it's it's a very very efficient vehicle. Again, you have the great power, great output. Um, your combustion engine has 333 horsepower. The electric motor has 95 horsepower, and when you have both engaged in high-performance driving conditions, you have a maximum output of 416 horsepower on this vehicle. Amazing. So this Panamera has like a, a, a instrument panel like with green colors, like very yeah, specific yeah. for this electric, like your shirt. Actually. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. This is actually the one of the distinctive colors or characteristics of the Panamera SE Hybrid. Um, also for our 918 Spider, the supercar that we yeah. have, which is also a plug-in hybrid. Mm -hmm. um, the acid green is, is a distinct characteristic. So on a Panamera SE Hybrid, the you know needles, the tachometer needles, the speedometer needles, the clock needles are all in acid green. The Panamera S is highlighted in green. The E-Hybrid lettering is highlighted in green. The brake calibers are in acid green. So 
the acid green theme is, the theme is, is for, very for characteristic. Exactly. And then on top of all that uh, magnificent technology, you have all this luxury of a uh, characteristic yeah, of, of a Porsche, right? Yeah, like exactly. This uh, this Panamera with the center console, both in the front and the back, yeah, and then and like all this leather and all. Yeah, that. we have two tone leather in this car, which is absolutely beautiful. You have the option, of course, to customize your Porsche any way you'd like with your, our exclusive options. Uh, you can go to your dealer and and basically. Um, configure your car however you'd like uh, you can have deviating color stitching like we see here with the beige yeah. stitching on the brown dash um, you can even have color to sample if there's a color that Porsche doesn't offer from the factory and there's a special color let's say there's your, no favorite, limits, basically. your favorite recliner at home <laughs> yeah. is uh, you know a, a special distinct color my dog's uh, color uh, exactly. eyes or you can something. bring you can bring a, a sample to to the Porsche Center and and we can have your car ordered in the color to sample option which we call it and you can have either the exterior or the interior color made to sample so the Panamera debuted what 2009 and yes. uh, with one model and now how many are there now now we have Panamera Panamera S Panamera SE hybrid we have the 4 which is the four-wheel drive the 4s we have the GTS we have the turbo and the turbo s and selling so, like Hulk pancakes, right? Like everybody it's wants it. very well, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And it, it, it's funny because I got some people. There were some we like it was with the Cayenne at the very beginning. Like some mm -hmm. people were like, "Oh, I don't know if I like it or not." But I guess the customers have liked it a lot. Absolutely. I mean, just today driving around doing these test drives, we've seen quite a bit on the road, actually. Yeah. Thank you very much for uh, the information. I'm gonna keep enjoying the drive here in Miami. <laughs> uh, beautiful day. Uh, not a typical Miami day. It's a little cloudy, but still. Miami. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Zisa. Thank you.